This is the old workshop that Ivaldi spoke of. I should check if he's already here. Shotty. Very shotty. Found anything worthy of your talents? This will have to do. Soon you can put them to good use. By Emir, is that a... a Salakar? I never knew they actually existed. I know all the sagas of your people, yet I've never heard of... I never said my people. You mean the Light Elves? There aren't many who remember the Children of Light, or their stories. I do. When Sutur invaded their lands, they begged me for aid. But the war with the Vanir had only just ended, and I was... weary. Long after, I learned how Sutur devoured the Elves' immortal light, hooker by hooker. Maybe it's the same light that now allows him to renew himself after death. During the conquest, he must have uncovered knowledge of the Salakars. But to what end? What Hugers does it hold? Those of two warlords. One a Muspal. The other a Yotun. Nothing more? Nothing more. At least not of value. He speaks the truth. You deal with a fire nymph? A fire nymph? I am the finest fire nymph in all of Spartelheim. Allow me to introduce Asa, treasonous daughter of Sutur, and my friend. You grow dewy eyed in your dotage. What have you unearthed? Only rumors. My father is rebuilding something large and powerful. Though its exact nature, I cannot fathom. And the Salakar is intended to be part of this. This something. Most likely. Either way, its value to my father is so great, he may indeed trade your son for its return. Return to your stepmother. Arrange a trade. And one more thing. I would feel better knowing you're protected. Sinmara travels far and wide, but I will rejoin her as you wish. Whatever the Salakar is, I must steal it back once Baldur is safe. Why? Ragnarok comes. I've made plans, but they are not ideal. Perhaps the Salakar offers another way. One that will allow me to truly save those I care about. Even you. Mm, to unlock its secrets, I will need help. There are rumors of a shelter nearby. Its dwellers may be able to assist me. Try looking near the largest karst south of here. Tell them I sent you. No dwarf would give up the chance to work with Ivaldi. Vangren was once home to your rivals, Sinri and Broker. Your name may not carry much weight here. Don't make me laugh. No one cares about those two. I'll follow you once I've finished taking what I need. Be my eyes, Sunan.
<laughs> Little runt won't last much longer. Wish we had more snakes. I should look around for any signs leading to the shelter. Dwarves have left their mark here. Double one. Clever. The shelter must be nearby. The shelter is close, I feel it. This is where they hide. This must be the shelter Evil D spoke of. I should head inside. Go away! For all our good! Bring word from Ivaldi. What do I care? Go talk to the ganger. Ganger? Yeah, the chief. Name's Ogler. Uh, let's see which one is Ogler. Conte! Conte! How can so many starving dwarves? A word, my friend. Ivaldi requests your aid. <laughs> Ain't my concern. Go talk to Orgler. He's the master of this workshop. Master? <laughs> nah, boy, he's chief when the masters ain't here. Those two aren't him. No, I'll we are their dearest allies. They won't let us down. What do you want? Evil descends me. He requires the help of a skilled artisan. A meeting of minds, huh? Well, it ain't up to me. You'd best talk to Brokir or Sindri. They still breathe. Where are they? No idea. Sindri went off adventuring. He does that. Mind you, it's been a while since he left. How much of a while? 
couple of weeks. And his absence doesn't worry you. Not my business where he goes. And Brooker? Went to look for Sindri. <laughs> Bit of a worry guts, that one. Ever since he mucked up the forging of Mjolnir. Anyway, look, leave your name and I'll pass it to Brocker when he shows up. Tell him Javi of Asgard was here. Javi of... by Ymir? Really, it is you? I'll return tonight. In the meantime, fetch Ivaldi. He's at the old workshop ruins. Asgard has abandoned us. No, we are their dearest allies. They won't let us down. Three times it stung me. Three! On the hand, then the neck, all in on my eyeball! A true master would ignore such trifles. Trifles? That gadfly was the size of a squirrel! A big one! An ogre could tear me limb from limb, and still my severed hands would finish the job. That is focus. That is passion. That is... Horseshit. Master Brugger, I'm glad you have made it home. And your brother. Did you find him? Yeah. You never did say where he was. I believe Sindri went adventuring. Adventuring? No, no, that's not it. He went to find the special mead. Had a hankering, he said. Special meat? Yeah, the special meat. Sutunger special meat. What's that frosty ass got to do with it? We ain't in Jotunheim in case you hadn't noticed. Well, there's this mead they make down at the brewery. So sweet, it can. Uh, it can. Uh, well, it's bloody sweet, all right? Anyway, Sindri had an itch for it. Just a horn or two, he said. So, off he goes. That was half a moon ago. I told him not to do it. Too many giants out there, but he wouldn't listen. Uh, him and his cravings. Where can I find this brewery? Aethorpe, southeast of here, other side of the marsh. Can't miss it. You're going to rescue him? I will find him, yes. And afterwards, you and he will repay me by helping Ivaldi with the job I need done. Now hold on, we didn't, uh... Good, good, we have a deal. That gadfly? It was Loki. Thor himself could not have withstood the sting. Look at so many starving dwarves produce so much shit. Remind me, why do I find myself in your company? Be grateful, child. Asgard has abandoned You might learn something. No, child! Sure. The is Asgard. Asgard. I'm the same Asgard. age as you. And in all that time, consider what I have learned, and what you haven't. Hail to you, friend! If it's bird or beast you seek, you've come to the right place. Everything you see is for sale, except for Nara, of course. And who is Nara? Your prize steed? Ha! That knackered old nag! She's nobody's prize. But I owe her, and that's why she'll always hold a place in my heart. You are in debt to a horse. I am, for she saved my life. The addled old thing broke out of a pen and wandered far from the village, and I set out to find her. It took me a day and a night to bring her home. When I did, I found my village in flame and ruin. No one got out alive. None but you. Aye, and I have Nara to thank for that. Together we made for the nearest shelter and... Well, here we are. Farewell. Henry, even after all that has happened.
He still has the defiance to seek the horn of Svartalfheim's finest. Be careful now. Ah, the sweet scent of meat, fouled by the stench of muspels. And Jotnar, too. Do you see, Sunan? The smell of meat grows strong. This must be where everything is stored. Sindri's nose would have guided him here. Sindri's been here. A chain was placed here. From the scarring, something heavy was suspended from it. I've carried enough dwarves recently to know they're not as light as they look. Is this Sindri special meat? Given the puddles on the floor, he must have taken a bath in it. the mark of Sindri, and here, a bag of roasted acorns. This blood is many days old. One trail leads in, the other out. Spells have a prison not far from here. Jans, who's they call it. Some days ago, Sindri was captured while sneaking outside. He was dragged in here for interrogation. His belongings were seized. Even his roasted acorns, one of the many dwarven delicacies I will never fathom. They tried to loosen his tongue using the same sweet meat he himself sought. Almost drowned him in it. But the shelter has not been raided. 
so Sindri must have remained strong and refused to give them its location. Instead, he was dragged away, bloodied, drunk as a fish, but alive, most likely to face further tortures at a makeshift prison named Jarnshus. That is where I should go next. This place reeks of misery, more than I would even wish upon Loki, no matter his crimes. It's likely Sindri was brought here many days ago. I hope it's not too late. Giants have no mercy. When I face them, I will show them none. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Most of the dead have been roasted upon the flames. But that other body over there, I hope it is not who I think it is. I need help over here. I know this mark. Whoever he was, he had his hooker cruelly stolen. I can sense. The Salakar was satisfied on this occasion. Was this Kaldur's first victim? And that amulet? The Sigil? Sindri. Reckless fool. All this was a mead. Oh well, it is done. We must return the body to Broker. This place... It is too much!
woven hookers. Even ones such as Sindri's are of lesser value. Still, it can't be coincidence that Keldus sated the Selica with the hookers of so many races. Muspel, Jotun, Dwarf, who knows what else? It cannot be. Is this Sindri, noblest of dwarves? Please let this not be our missing master. Who is this you bring? No, it can't be. Master Broker, I share in your grief. Truly I do. Your brother was the worthiest of dwarves. More so than you will ever know. Oh, Sindri. No. No, my dear Sindri. The funeral arrangements are being made outside. I must use this chance to bend Broker to my will. I must speak with Broker. rowing in one of these boats. How can I tell Broker we're missing the two? I must find a way to ease Broker's sorrow and make him amenable to my wishes. You lied to me. You said you would save him. I said I would find him. That ain't my brother. Not anymore. What happened? Tell me. Everything. As I neared the village, I... I heard a great roar. Like that of a wounded bear. Soon after, I witnessed the final act of a mighty battle. Sindri beset by giants on all sides. It was he who made the godlike roars. He... he always did have a deep voice. He wielded his hammer and chisel with uncommon skill. Yes, yes, I've seen him do it many times in the workshop. Giants lay strewn about, slain by Sindri's hand. But then... One of cowardly aspect struck your brother treacherously in the back. Yet even as Sindri succumbed to the blow, he lobbed his chisel and struck the coward dead right between the eyes. Sindri did all that? So it will be written. Sindri, you son of a rock, where did you hide your tools? <laughs> Is something wrong, Vessel? Everything is wrong. We're burying the greatest smith who ever lived, and we don't have his tools to put with him. I came across some at Aelthorpe. If you want, I can fetch... Those are just the spares. He never took his best ones from the shelter. I see. How is it that such valuable instruments have been misplaced? Misplaced? Don't be daft. Hidden, more like. By Sindri. To make sure no one else ever touched them. Particularly Broker. Except now we can't find them. And you have no idea where they might be. Well, they're inside the shelter, I can tell you that. Well, they can't be too far. 
wouldn't be surprised if there's somewhere up high. I thought dwarves were afraid of heights. Not our Sindri. He was quite the climber. Now me, well, I prefer to keep my feet on the ground right where they should be. Survey the area, Sunan. Even the lies. <laughs> if I were Sindri, where would I hide my beloved tools? Somewhere high up, perhaps. Tools of Sindri's trade. I must reunite these tools with Sindri's remains before the ceremony begins. <laughs> Disaster has been averted. Oh, now I see why some call you God. You're making me blush. Still, I have my moments. Heroes die, but not their legacy. Such was Sindri's courage that tonight he feasts in Valhalla, the first of his kind to ever do so. Evaldi has come. Perhaps he can be of use. I'm here for the mead, not the company. You dwarves and your love of mead. It's caused me enough trouble already. It wasn't a dwarf who ransacked half of Jotunheim in search of some mysterious mead. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. You know, old friend, now would be a good time for some grand gesture. Like what? A respectful speech from you. Sindri's greatest rival would surely... Ah. I can even give you the honeyed words. Time soothes the well of suffering. Brings hope that sees beyond chill death. Recasts the whirlpool of sorrow into the placid waters of the philosophic mind. Are those words for Sindri or Baldur? Baldur lives. Why would he need such words? Of course, of course. I, I, I didn't mean to... Well, you know. Fine, I'll do the speech. But it will be one of my making, not yours. We dwarves don't care much for poetry. Still... We can't set about making speeches until the torches are all lit up. <laughs> Who knows how long it'll take before the dwarves get around to lighting the torches. It'll be f faster if I do it.
dwarves have saved the place for me. This is a great honor that they bestow. My brother, a true master, he was, sir. Uh... I did not like Sindri, and he did not like me. Still, he was good with the hammer, and the chisel, and the sword. And he knew how to work the bellows. Some said better than anyone. Even me. <laughs> Broker, your brother was a very fine smithy. I... I admired him greatly. Master Broker, you've given Sindri an excellent send-off. It's the least he deserves. But is it really true he feasts in Valhalla? It is. I saw it in a vision. Come, let's take a stroll. Now tell me, are you prepared to continue Sindri's good work? Helping Ivaldi was not my brother's work. But defying Sutor was. It's what got him killed. Greed for mead is what got him killed. It took courage to go after that mead. A direct challenge to Sutor's authority. This is crooked thinking. Seems straight enough to me. You know, I don't reckon I owe you a bloody thing. I risked my life to retrieve your brother's body. Now I prepare to risk it again. For you, and all of Svartalvein. Bollocks! You ain't doing anything out of the goodness of your art. I know what you're after. I know all about your lad Balder. I have ears, you know. Even in my grief. So... Don't pretend you're here for us, because I know- Would you have me abandon my own son, and strive only for your salvation? Okay, when you say it like that... I... Uh, I need time. I'm still grieving, you know? Let me think on it, alright? A little old think. should check on Brooker, see if he has come to his senses. If he hasn't, I must encourage him further. <laughs> <laughs> 